Hey the Wrestle fans, I just got a quick video for you. I wanted to do a couple um, toy belt replica belts. Um, the first belt I was going to say is this is my favorite um, belt um, that they ever showed on TV. But as for the toy belt, this is probably like not even, it, does, it kind of looks like it, the shapes and stuff, but the colors are all off. There's barely any jewels. There's not even two side plates on each side. There's just one on each side. That's why I didn't like Jack Specific belts. Um, and obviously, there's no WWF logo. But there is ones with WWF logo that I plan on getting in the future. But that's one belt. That's the, um, the Added to Era Heavyweight Championship. And then there's two belts right here. These are probably my favorite Jack Specific uh, replica belts. We have the Tag Team Championships. Whenever I look at these, I always think of uh, Kane and um, Big Show um, holding these, or just like tons of different tag teams I keep thinking of, you know. I miss tag team belts that look like actual good looking belts with a world on it. Tag team champion. I don't really like the circle championship. I would never buy the toy belt replica or even the commemorative or, you know, metal replica of that belt. That thing's a piece of shit, man. Um, these are my favorite designed uh, tag team belts ever made and I even like toy replicas they're freaking sick um, this is the ECW championship this is the one held by Christian and um, a couple other ECW guys doesn't fit me quite well anymore it still fits me but it's definitely a good uh, little replica. I would never get um, a commemorative or um, metal replica of this belt because I don't really care for ECW that much. But I would spend the money to get the toy one. The next belt, this one's mine. This one was the earlier um, model where there's no stitching on the corners on each side. And then this one's my brother's. This one has stitching on the sides. And if you look closely, this one's darker. This one's lighter. This one actually has separate jewels. And then this one has painted on jewels. So as Jack Specific, I mean not Jack Specific, um, as Mattel was going more into their um, titles, they lost touch on details because this it's probably a better color to be honest but the, the stitching in the middle that's kinda ugly the painted on jewels come on guys but anyways this is my brother's one and I just wanted to show you guys that this is my one I have the the snaps on there so it fits fits better but this is a pretty good belt I, I plan on getting the commemorative of this belt somewhere in the future just not anytime soon because it's not really relevant anymore. Um, my brother got the commemorative of this. I love it. I just not love it enough to get it right now. Um, we have the current um, Intercontinental Championship. It doesn't have the new logo or anything, but it's the current Intercontinental Championship belt with the white straps. This is something I would like to get signed. Like toy belts is something I'd get signed. I wouldn't get replica belts. Um, I mean, I would get replica belts because these are replicas. I'm just saying I wouldn't get the actual metal, expensive ones signed and stuff. I just, you know, what if I started to hate wrestler and he already signed my belt? You know, I'm not going to wash it off or anything. So if I had a toy belt and they signed it, um, I would keep it. I don't care if I don't like them anymore. You know, someone famous. Um, this one actually has a lot of good detail. Um, I just don't like the stitching in the, in the center pieces, like I said before. But this is awesome. This is all white. This is a great belt for like many, many wrestlers to sign. Then put it up on your wall. And then you can have tons of people's autographs. You know, that's freaking awesome, man. I put snaps on this, like a real belt. So then you can snap it together. So the Velcro stuff, because the Velcro stuff is kind of stupid. I think they actually should make toy belts with uh, snaps. Because I think that would be pretty freaking cool, man. Um, this fits on me quite well. Um, another belt, um, another Intercontinental Championship belt, the uh, Chris Jericho design. I have like two snaps, I don't have the other side snaps. 
Um, but again, the ugly center stitching, but you know what? It works, man. This one's not that bad as the world title. This one at least has, you know, separate jewels and stuff like that. It's not like painted on jewels. This is a pretty freaking awesome belt. You know, on the side it says North America, South America, Europe, Africa, then the Intercontinental Championship. That's freaking awesome. I mean, I wish I had this of the WWF toy. Like, certain ones of these that have WWF, I plan on getting in the future. So, um, maybe you'll see a video of me unboxing some WWF toy belts or something in the future. Um, this is, this is probably weird to me, but, um, I definitely want to get the Mattel one of this, but, um, this is the United States belt, and this is kind of weird because this is paper, like, like, legit freaking paper, but this is still a good, um, commemorative, um, toy belt. This one I didn't, this is the only belt I didn't buy. This is, like, I think that my mom bought me this for Christmas, like, 2007, but this was the only belt that I ever... Um, that I didn't purchase out of all these belts. All these belts I purchased except for this one. Um, the next belt I have is the um, the recent WWE belt before they combined the world title and stuff to make the WWE world title. I put snaps, put four of those, two of these, like I did on the other belts. Snaps right together. And it works pretty good. The thing I don't get about the toy belt the WWE World Title is how that these bar things aren't even on the toy belt replica. That's kind of stupid to me. Um, you know, and the TV it's there, so therefore it should be on the toy belt. This one at least has that, like it was, you know. Um, then next I have the Divas Championship belt. I made a video about this with um, my actual Divas commemorative and my. Um, NXT replica belt. This one's uh, pretty good. I mean, the only thing you know, like I said on that video, was like the the pink stones on the, each side. And that's about it. This this one's freaking awesome. It doesn't even have the freaking stitching on each side like the other ones did. But that is all I have. I want to show you guys. So we have Divas, WWE. United States, Intercontinental, Intercontinental World Title, ECW, the two tag team belts, and the Attitude Air belt. That is all, guys. Like, subscribe, favorite, and that's it.